listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Gossip. The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Are you ready for Kanye West Sunday service at Joel Osteen's church in Houston? That's going to be happening this Sunday. If you want tickets, you have to go to Ticketmaster, and they'll give you tickets free. And it's for the first 45,000 people. So it's got to be strictly first come, first served, and you can get those tickets starting Friday. What about the regular congregation? What about them? Um, well, they said the church has an over- overflow room if the crowd's too big. I'm sure those people should be able, some of them will be able to get in on their own. There's oh. going to be a choir. They said 120 people. Wasn't well, no black churches that uh, Kanye could have went to? Ain't no black churches in Houston Kanye could have pulled up to? Um. I just think it's weird for a black <laughs> man to have a gospel album out called Sunday Service, but he keep going to these white churches. No, nah, he went to uh, Now, he did go to Pastor Jamal, and that's, he went to Pastor Jamal Bryan's, Bryan's. Oh, that's in Atlanta. Ch- no, that's in Atlanta. Okay. Alan. Now, Pastor Jamal Bryant does have some things to say about Kanye West, though. If you guys remember, uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant is a senior pastor at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Georgia, and he spoke to the congregation about Kanye West. He doesn't like what Kanye does outside of his music. Listen to what he said. I can't rest with Kanye saying uh, slavery was an option. It's in between the songs that uh, he says that black people should vote Republican because that's the group that kept us free. I I can't rest in between the songs when Kanye would endorse Donald Trump who has never done a thing for black people. It's in between the songs uh, that he endorsed him and because he endorsed him Donald Trump thought he could come in Atlanta, Georgia and nobody was going to check him. It's in between the songs. This is a slippery slope because someone's politics shouldn't uh, uh, affect, you know, how you how, how their religion. Right. Like like Jamal Bryan is a pastor. Like he shouldn't be chastising Kanye West because of his politics. Yeah. But if he's using his music and religion to talk politics, because that's what he's doing. It. So what? He, he's a, he's a, right. He, he's I a guess what he's saying with Kanye is coming to do any Sunday services and praising Donald Trump at these Sunday services. And the I don't know, but he before what, what, he what went. Does Donald Trump have to do with God though? Like I just feel like it's kind of crazy for a pastor to be chastising somebody about their politics. No, he's just saying I, I mess with his music, but I just don't mess with the side Kanye West, the other stuff that he talks and promotes. That shouldn't be right. He's saying in between the music and in between, you know, and he did say he appreciates with the Sunday service how many more people are googling Christianity and coming to church that normally wouldn't. He just doesn't rock with the other stuff that Kanye does. But I he, guess that's disturbing to him. Yeah, if it was so disturbing, he shouldn't have had Kanye perform in his church. Like, if, it's, not, if it was so disturbing and bothered you so much, you should have not had well, Kanye now, West now, perform now, in now, church. You got to bring the numbers in, though. Kanye going to bring the numbers oh, in. Oh, my God. <laughs> you People are crazy, <laughs> All right. Now, Marlon Wayans is talking about what it was like to kiss Jennifer Hudson. Now, he was asked about it because uh, that he had to actually kiss her on the set of their new movie, Respect, which is about Aretha Franklin. And here's what he had to say. Amazing. Amazing. You ever kiss an angel? <laughs> I did. Her breath was amazingly fresh. Her lips were like pillows. It felt like I was kissing a cloud. I don't want to let her know how good the kiss was, but I think I just did. But it was probably up there in like the top three kisses in my life. And man, that voice, it actually gave me Woody. Okay, bye. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, now, Chameleonaire and E40 have announced a $100,000 investment contest, and that is for minorities. Here's what it's sounding like. Being an entrepreneur isn't easy, but it's even harder for minority and women founders who are trying to raise funding for their companies. In order to do what we can to change the narrative, E40, Republic, and yours truly will be investing $100,000 in a minority or woman founder. We're not talking about just the idea. We're talking about a real company. Republic.co is a platform that allows non-accredited people to invest in startups for little amounts of money. The kind folks at Republic will be responding to all the pitches, and we brought in the investor of all investors to help us narrow it down. Shark Damon John here, and I am so excited to be one of the judges in the $100,000 pitch competition. That's great. Yeah, man. Drop on the clues bond for E40. That's what I'm doing now. Damon John. So if y'all got a pitch, if you need $100,000, you know, make sure you join Republic. All right. And 50 Cent, it looks like he his account got shut down on Instagram. I don't Did know y'all if he shut down. I don't know if it shut down or if he backed off a little bit. I know he was in Australia about a week ago, but I, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure what happened. But now he's on Twitter. So I guess that's where he is at right now. Talk, and I've, I've never seen him be super active like this on Twitter, but he's been posting a lot on Twitter lately. Um, and, yeah, I, I, he got to leave Notori alone. Oh, that's my girl. Like, he already apologized for what making fun of. 
Oh, he posted another picture here. If you remember, she said it hurt her feelings the first time where he posted a picture of her and it was a meme where they were talking about her hairline and ghosts and all of that. And now there's another one that he posted on Twitter. And she already had said it hurt her feelings and he apologized for it. Then he just did another one on Mm. Twitter. All right. I'm Angela Yee and that is your rumor report.